Hello, and thanks for purchasing the LDG Electronics Z11 Pro 2 100-watt automatic antenna tuner. Although the Z11 Pro 2 tuner comes from the factory with a 12-volt DC power cable, the Z11 Pro 2 is designed to also be used with a user-installed battery pack. Using an internal battery pack makes it easier to use the Z11 Pro 2 in a portable situation, such as backpacking or hilltopping, as there is one less cable to hook up and no external power source to lug around. The Z11 Pro 2 needs at least 7 volts to operate reliably, so a 6 or 8 cell AA or AAA battery pack is recommended. Although a standard 9 volt battery will work, it will drain quickly and is not recommended unless no other solution is available. To begin installing the battery pack, first disconnect all cables from the Z11 Pro 2. Now you can remove the four screws that hold on the lid using a Phillips head screwdriver. Carefully lift off the lid. Locate the two solder pads marked B plus and B minus near the DC power jack. The B plus terminal is for the red positive wire on the battery holder and the B minus terminal is for the black negative wire. Before soldering the wires to the pads, do a test fit of the battery pack to determine the best placement and wire routing. Keep the wires of the battery pack away from the inductor section and away from the RF leads on the SO239 jacks. Trim any excess wire so that it is not dangling loose inside the tuner. Strip the end of the wire fairly short. Solder the red wire from the battery pack to the B plus pad. Solder the black wire from the battery pack to the B- pad. Be careful not to get any solder on other traces or pads on the circuit board. Also be careful not to let the wires poke too far through the circuit board, otherwise they may short against the bottom of the metal case. Using some double-sided foam tape, Secure the battery holder in place on top of the row of relays near the capacitor bank. It's best to find the strongest possible adhesive so that the battery pack does not come loose over time. Press the battery pack firmly in place on top of the tape. Now install the batteries into the battery holder being careful to observe correct polarity. Alkaline cells are recommended for long life, or lithium cells for even longer life. Alkaline AA cells should last about one year, more or less, depending on usage. When all the batteries are installed, test the tuner by pressing and holding the tune button. The LED should light up like this. If not, Remove the batteries and check your work. Once the battery holder is installed, carefully replace the lid and then reinstall the four screws that hold it on. The Z11 Pro 2 is now ready for use. After a period of time, the batteries will run down and the tuner may begin operating erratically. Eventually, it will stop working altogether. At the first sign of erratic operation, replace the batteries with fresh ones for optimum performance. This concludes our four-part series on the Z11 Pro 2. Be sure to read your printed owner's manual to get the most out of your Z11 Pro 2.